Yellowstone supervolcano erupts. Active magma beneath Biscuit Basin triggers geyser eruption. Scientists alarmed by deep activity. Yellowstone National Park, long known for its majestic geysers and bubbling hot springs, has recently become the epicenter of renewed scientific anxiety. On July 23, 2024, a powerful hydrothermal eruption shattered the serenity of Biscuit Basin, launching boiling water, steam, and rocks violently into the sky. The explosion at the Black Diamond Pool injured no one but sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Experts quickly identified it as a shallow, steam-driven blast typical of Yellowstone's hydrothermal system. However, it was what came afterward that truly captured global attention. Over the next several months, successive geyser eruptions erupted in the same region. On November 5, 2024, January 3, 2025, and most recently, May 31, 2025, when new monitoring systems captured yet another eruption from the same basin. The explosion occurred at precisely 8.39 p.m. MDT, recorded by high-resolution cameras and seismometers. Though smaller in scale than the July event, this series of explosions is far from typical. Scientists now warn that this seemingly isolated phenomenon may in fact be connected to deeper changes beneath the surface of Yellowstone, ones involving active magma shifting beneath the park. The breathing magma, Yellowstone's hidden threat. Recent seismic imaging studies have confirmed the presence of an enormous magma Reservoir beneath Yellowstone, a massive semi-solid body of molten rock, lying approximately 3.8 kilometers, 2.6 miles, beneath the surface. What's newly alarming, however, is the observation that this magma is breathing, expanding and contracting, suggesting gas movement and internal pressure changes. This upper magma body, previously thought to be relatively stable, is now venting more gases through the fractured crust. It's this degassing process that scientists believe may be altering the fragile balance of the park's hydrothermal system. It's as if the magma is exhaling, says one USGS researcher. That gas has to go somewhere, and that somewhere is often straight through geyser basins, like Biscuit. The crust that sits above the Yellowstone magma chamber acts as a pressure lid. Not entirely solid, but more like a cracked, permeable shell. If gas or heat moves upward, it can destabilize the shallow groundwater systems, leading to hydrothermal eruptions like the ones recently witnessed. Geysers, steam blasts, and supervolcano fears. What has most alarmed volcanologists is the temporal and geographic. Alignment of these shallow eruptions with growing signs of deeper magma activity. Could this mean that hydrothermal eruptions are a warning sign, a precursor to something much larger? In short, not directly. The geysers and hydrothermal explosions we see are mostly surface-level responses to pressure in the groundwater system. These are steam-driven events, not lava driven However, the fact that magma movement below may be increasing the frequency or intensity of these events is a disturbing signal. We are not saying the supervolcano is about to erupt tomorrow, said one USGS official, but the system is clearly more active than we've seen in decades. He had interpreted as a vent for some of these pyroclastic rocks, these welded tufts. Uh, it didn't... This leads to a critical question. Could a geyser eruption trigger the Yellowstone supervolcano? 
Scientists largely agree, no, not directly. The energy required to trigger a supervolcano comes from miles below the surface and cannot be unleashed by shallow hydrothermal explosions. However, if both systems are responding to the same underlying magma shifts, then those surface geysers may be canaries in the volcanic coal mine. Supervolcano Mechanics How close are we? Yellowstone's supervolcano last erupted around 640,000 years ago, releasing over 1,000 cubic kilometers of volcanic material. Smaller eruptions have occurred more recently, about 70,000 years ago, and since then, the system has largely remained dormant. However, USGS research indicates that the magma chamber beneath Yellowstone is now 6 to 8% molten, and while that's still far below the critical eruption threshold, which experts place at 50 to 60%, the trend line is upward. Magma shifts are causing subtle ground deformation, increased seismic activity, and more frequent hydrothermal outbursts. The combination is scientifically significant. It tells us the system is active, evolving, and not asleep. Conclusion Living on a Giant's Back In conclusion, the recent geyser eruptions at Biscuit Basin are not isolated events. They are part of a broader, deeper process involving active magma, gas migration, and crustal stress within Yellowstone's dynamic volcanic system. While scientists insist that a supervolcano eruption remains highly unlikely in our lifetime, with annual odds estimated at 0.00014%, the underlying system is showing renewed vitality. With improved monitoring, satellite imaging, and seismic detection tools, scientists are watching Yellowstone closer than ever before. Still, nature rarely gives clear warnings, and as the world's most closely watched caldera, any unusual activity demands swift attention. As long as geysers keep roaring and magma keeps shifting deep beneath the earth, Yellowstone will remain a place of wonder and of caution.